thank you. Now, um, we have uh, legislation which follows through uh, a long commitment in this parliament and many moves uh, by the Democrats, particularly Andrew Bartlett, uh, in the time I've been in this parliament. But the Greens went to the last election, and indeed the uh, elections before that, committed to the complete end of the selling of livestock overseas for slaughter. Um, repeatedly this has led to outcry about the cruelty involved. Uh, we've seen it in the Middle East. We saw it last night on Four Corners uh, in regard to Indonesia. There is only one way to properly handle this situation, and that's to end it. Um, uh, Rachel Seawitt uh, is taking action on that front, uh, and today Adam Bant is taking action on that front. And I might just ask you, Rach, to outline what that action is. Today, Adam will be tabling um, in the House of Reps a bill that ends export of animal of livestock for slaughter. This is following through on Greens' policy that has been our policy for many a year. There's a two-prong approach that needs to be taken on this issue. The Minister for Agriculture needs to act immediately to suspend licences for export. Then they need to end this trade permanently. This is what this bill does. It will end the export of livestock um, for slaughter. This, this is it's a necessary two-pronged approach. We cannot wait till this bill goes through Parliament to end, because if we do, um, that means there's thousands more animals will be subject to the sort of treatment that we saw last night on Four Corners. So the Minister needs to act immediately. If he doesn't then subsequently ban it after he's suspended it, this legislation needs to be passed through the Parliament. I've already got hundreds of emails from people saying, what are you doing about live cattle export? I think Australians are horrified by the pictures that they saw on Four Corners last night, the same as I was horrified when I first saw them and was horrified again <coughs> last night. This trade needs to stop. You don't have confidence. Um, Adam, do you want to just I add might a couple just, of words? Just say, that? Uh, we'll be moving in the House of Representatives for the immediate uh, ban on live animal exports because uh, ethically and economically it's the right thing to do. Um, I spent a lot of time growing up in Fremantle and you see truckloads of live animals uh, going past in the streets every day, and it's very, very clear that uh, live animal exports means shiploads of misery, uh, waiting on the docks for weeks on end and then being exported to uh, situations that we know now have known for some time and we're in no doubt after last night involve some of the most extreme acts of cruelty. Uh, and economically we know that there is a 20% greater return to the Australian economy by processing animals onshore. Uh, before uh, before we uh, export them, and that's uh, good for Australian jobs, particularly in an environment where the uh, Australian meat industry is facing a number of challenges. So, um, I, it's uh, uh, with great um, pleasure and pride that we are going to take Senator Seawitt's bill and move it in the House of Representatives when we come back uh, at next parliamentary sitting. Will Senator, you, say, you don't have uh, any confidence at all in the industry being able to regulate no, itself? the industry tried to preempt this on, on Friday by announcing suspension to three abattoirs. We export to over 100 abattoirs in Indonesia. It is quite obvious that this is widespread. It's not isolated incidences. It's obviously quite widespread. Systematic. Uh, abuse of animals and so no we don't have any confidence that the industry will take action. They only act when this sort of thing has been exposed. They're always backwards in developing anything. It is quite in taking any positive uh, strong steps. It's quite obvious that the government needs to step in now and as I said suspend export licences now and bring in a, long, a ban. But we'll so we'll, uh, we'll leave that right press conference there. That's that. the uh, Greens at uh, Federal Parliament in Canberra. That uh, press conference is continuing, but we'll pull out there. The Greens leader, Bob Brown, um,